Hey guys, how you doing? This is the Prince Koala bringing you another Rome Total War online fight. And this is actually my first fight online that I'm doing via um, Game Ranger. Uh, for the ones of you who don't know Game Ranger, it's a program that offers, uh, like for several, several games, um, some servers so you can play them online. For example, Age of Empires or Star Wars Battlefront as well, and uh, a lot of games, and also Rome Total War, and there are lots of players using it, uh, especially those who who don't um, who don't bought it on Steam. So uh, yeah, it's um, a way to to play online with your old CD, Rome Total War, um, because as you know, Game Spies service went down and guys were not able to play Rome 12 War online so a lot of them moved to Game Ranger which uh, I was told only like two weeks ago um, I informed myself about this Game Ranger and it's pretty cool because lot, lots of CWB players are around here and you get some nice matches and this is actually my first one and I'm doing it with the Macedonians the you have my general over here. He's one, uh, in one of my Royal Pikeman units. Gold, gold upgraded. The other ones are silver gold or gold. I think they are silver gold. And behind them, six arches, mainly gold, gold. Behind them, three, uh, two Cretan arches with gold attack upgrade. And one unit of peasants on my right wing. Behind them, some unupgraded phalanx, no, oh, also royal pikes, okay, but those were phalanx pikes, but those are royal pikes as well, and uh, not upgraded, so they're just uh, to, to hold the line and maybe to uh, be able to support my calf against some of his, uh, his, uh, how do you call it, chariots, that's what they're called, um, as he's playing Pontus and it's always a tough time with Macedon against Pontus. So behind them I have two Light Lancers, Gold Gold. On my left wing I have one unit of Light Lancers, Gold Gold as well. And the rest of my calf consists of three units of Companion Calves, Gold Gold as well. So his army, uh, well his name is H.O.S. Camus. Camus. Camus, if he's French, I don't know. And uh, yeah, HOS is a re really old clan. I think they're called Ayers of Sparta, but I'm not sure. And on his left wing, he has um, chariot arches with gold attack upgrade, it seems. Behind them, one unit of uh, the Pontish Light Cav, the, the Mysore Cav with bronze attack upgrade I guess and on the right wing there's another unit of chariot archers with gold attack upgrade yep so they're just a little bit of um, they're doing some harassment on my archers here which is okay and here I send my peasants to uh, push those chariot archers away from my archer units so yeah now he's uh, moving them in again. And also bringing forward his archers. He brought six archers as well. Gold, gold, completely gold, gold it seems. Behind them he has one, two, three, three, four, five. Uh, five units of bronze shields, gold, gold. Gold, gold, and this one. Oh, this is a Felling Spikeman unit as well. So, four units of uh, gold, gold, bronze shields, and two units of uh, Vanilla Felling Spikeman as well. Okay, so we, we both have two Vanilla Pike units. And uh, yeah, he also got lots of Cappadocian cavalry with three upgrades I think bronze, silver, something like that. And yeah, right here is moving forward some of his light cavalry, the smash cav, but he forgot to put them into his into their circle, so they're taking high casualties by marches. 
um, which I told to, f to shoot at them while they are vulnerable. Vulnerable. It's a really hard word to to pronounce. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, in comes his light cavalry into my peasant, which, which is okay as well. I'm just uh, firing at them, bringing up my pikes right here, so he can't just push through this little gap. And now I should take like tons of casualties by my archers. Or at least some. Yeah, well. Three guys went down. That's okay. And now I'm concentrating fi my fire on his archers uh, again. Also, I managed to push away those uh, chariot archers, which kept firing onto my, into my peasants. So uh, they didn't really kill anything important, and they get more tired and tired and tired, which is good for me. And over there, they, this, these uh, chariot archers should be really tired by now as well. Yeah, they, they are tired. And uh, in comes another time his Meissel calf, which is, uh, is warmed up. So I'm trying to catch them right here with my light lenses. Let's see if I'm able to. Uh, it's a close one, killed one. And I'm almost going to get them. I was, I was almost getting them because they were in um, the circle mode, so I have to retreat because there comes his uh, chariot archers, which are pretty good in, in combat against my, my, my light lances. So I, I don't want to fight these with my light cavalry, at least not right now. I know they're completely tired, completely exhausted. So um, I could launch my uh, assassination attacks any second. So here comes another strike with my light lenses. And I uh, hope to get these cap units this time. They're warmed up and they failed to retreat in time. Yes, they were attacking my royal pikes right here. And uh, now I'm just uh, uh, pressing on, attacking his archers or pulling them away to uh, make them stop firing at my archers so killing a few right there going on to kill a few right there in comes this calf to uh, push my cavalry away but it's uh, way too late so I already did what I wanted to do killing some archers here again and uh, yeah, as I'm getting closer to his pikes I'm retreating so yeah, I achieved what I wanted to achieve while my long range, uh, long range archers were still able to fire at them. Yeah. Right now, as these chariots were not in the circle, I started shooting at them, but it seems like he realized it and stopped. Uh, started his circle again, and on the right flank, at the same time, I'm chasing down his archers. He brought him out of his uh, out of the circle, but still my my units are um, are ready, and uh, these are, guys are completely exhausted. So I'm able to catch both the light cavalry and the chariot archers, which um, I'm yeah I'm just uh, sending those guys to hell right there. But I really wanted to kill as much as as much chariot archers. Um, as possible and it seems that three of them survived and so now I'm getting these guys back into safety away from those heavy cavalry units and yeah right now he's rushing forward with his pikes as his archers are mainly gone like this is all he has left and I got quite some archers still so I'm now firing into these pikemen as they are really small shields and I hope to, to get some kills in them because those are guys I have to deal with after all with my weaker pike units because I have less upgraded pikes than he does and also mine have only five upgrades at least two of them and they have all gold gold upgrades so I'm retreating on the whole front these Cretan archers uh, I'm not too 
worried about them anymore. They can play the meat shield right now as they don't have ammunition anymore. But those are just um, I still want to protect because they have still ammunition left. And yeah. Should have, yeah, right there. Um, I'm chasing away um, his light cavalry with my, well, one of my light cavalry units. Like this one, which should be retreating any second. The hell am I doing right there? <laughs> okay, I'm getting them out, but <laughs> that was close. Damn it. And yeah, see, as the whole curve comes from the right flank, so I'm bringing my curve up there, as I am the passive guy because I have the weaker curve but right now I'm doing an assault into his cavalry because I brought my pike units over here and they're almost there so I can now attack these uh, Cappadocians with my with the reinforcement of my pikes well there's a nice charge into them they were not able to retreat in come my uh, royal pikes and now as he, this unit is lost I kind of got the advantage over his cavalry, he's still retreating, my cav is way faster than his and they're already warmed up. So um, I didn't really use my royal pikes, I just uh, made, made him uh, scare away with his cav so my cav could uh, assassinate his cav as they were just trying to retreat away from these pike units. And my, um, yeah well my, my Pikes without upgrades are still better than his Phalanx pikemen without upgrades. So um, they won that one as well, the reinforcement. So his KF is completely depleted. I'm getting my cavalry back. I'm now rushing in with my uh, upgraded, with my heavy pikemen as well. As these guys started the combat with my two unupgraded Phalanxes who really need support. So right there, one of his. Cappadocians came back from routing but I think I'm realizing this before he does so I think I'm able to kill them. More interesting is what I'm doing right here, sneak through and get some like nice rear charge into these uh, bronze shields right there. Another, po another possibility to strike in and yeah as I told you I was able to, to catch these Cappadocians. In come my royal pikemen. Pikes drop down and slaughter his units, hopefully. <laughs> right, he is pushing back this unit of cavalry, but at the same time, I can charge into those so they're not able to uh, fight uh, my, my, like my heavy infantry forces. It's, uh, and it's really easy to outmaneuver these guys. Now my cavalry is in his bag and once he turns around he gets totally stabbed. I think he, yeah, he tries but that's way too late and they're not able to form a phalanx anymore. And I'm blocking these guys from charging to my bag with my, with my archers. So they're not getting a nice charge, turning these guys around as soon as these phalanx pikemen are routed and those bronze shields are routing as well. This general is routing and it's all going down to fucky town for him <laughs> using a little Prince of Macedon quote right there sorry for that <laughs> and yeah that's so much for the battle uh, good game to Ayer of Sparta Ayers of Spartan of, of Sparta whatever uh, to Camus and uh, yeah also made a rematch against him which he he really wanted so we, we switched our faction, so I was playing with Pontus and he was playing with the Macedonians um, who I think really have a hard, a tough time against Pontus every time, so yeah, well I was able to, to win right here and uh, yeah, my first game ranger battle works out quite good with the Macedonians and I hope you like this video uh, let me just le know if you would like to see the rematch, and uh, yeah. Well then, see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, leave a comment, and whatever, you know. <laughs> see ya.